New this morning, according to the Biden administration, a U.S. drone strike has killed a man behind the planning of 911 and who targeted Americans for decades. Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray has more about the operation that took down the Al Qaeda leader. Good morning, Paulo. That's right. The White House says the most wanted terrorist in the world, Ayman al Zarahiri, is now dead. More than two decades after he planned the 9-11 attacks on Washington and the World Trade Center. Now the mission lasts several weeks. The White House says no American personnel were on the ground during the strike that killed Zahiri. The chair of 9-11 Families United is thanking those involved with the operation. President Joe Biden says the U.S. identified an optimal time to target Zahiri about a week ago. He says the strike took place in Kabul, Afghanistan on Sunday. None of his family members were hurt. And there were no civilian casualties. It shows what our commitment is uh, in, in terms of telling the American people in the world that we will not allow terrorism to go unchecked. U.S. officials say the Taliban was aware of Zahiri's presence and tried to conceal it. The administration did not alert the Taliban on the strike before it took place. Now, the Taliban issued a statement condemning the airstrike, but it did not mention al-Zahiri. I'm Cordero McMurray and Chris, 6 Sunrise.